Hi there, welcome back. Starting from DaVinci Resolve 17, we can create and use mats directly in the edit page without fusion or color tools. A black and white image, or an image with alpha channel, such as a PNG file, can be used as a mat in the edit page. The text plus generator can also be used to create mats out of text titles, symbols or shapes. As you can see here, the first one is black and white image in JPEG format, and the second one is PNG with the transparent alpha channel. To use a black-white image as a mat, go to the inspector and change composite mode to Luma. Nothing changes yet, we need to have a clip above the image as the foreground video. Move the video clip to the track above the image and change its composite mode to foreground. And the clip is now masked by the image. The white areas show the foreground clip while the black parts hide the clip and display as transparent. If we change the image's composite mode to inverted luma, the mask is inverted and shows the black areas and hides the white as transparent. To use the PNG as a mat, we change its composite mode to alpha or inverted alpha. If we change to luma mode, we can get a semi-transparent effect. We can also animate the image mat to create a zoom transition effect. Select the map image, move the playhead to the start of the clip. Go to the inspector. Click the keyframe button to add a keyframe for the zoom control parameter. Change the zoom values to zero, so the video clip disappears. Press shift right arrow twice to move the playhead forward by 2 seconds. Hover the mouse over the zoom field, and we see this virtual slider cursor, clicking and dragging to the right to increase the value. Once we see the video clip fully exposed, release the mouse button. And another keyframe is automatically added at the current playhead position. Move the playhead back to the clip start, and play the timeline. We now have a nice zoom through transition to reveal the scene. We can ease in and out keyframes to get a smoother transition. Next we will add some shadow to the clip, so that it looks more standing out from the background. Select both the video and the image clip. Right click and choose new compound clip. Enter zoom through as the name. Go to the effects panel, from the open effects section, drag the drop shadow filter to the zoom through compound clip. Play the timeline. Now we have a transition with a drop shadow. Besides images, the text plus generator is another great tool for generating mats in the edit page. Add a text plus clip to the timeline. Go to the inspector and enter explore as the title change the font and size as needed. Click the settings tab to open the video controls. As the text plus generator has the alpha channel, change the composite mode to alpha to mask the track above based on its alpha channel output. Select the video clip we were working on, alt drag to make a copy above the text clip. Right away the video clip is masked and showing only inside the text, because the clip was already set to foreground composite mode. Similarly, we can keyframe the text position and center Z parameter to create a zoom through transition. If we want to soften the edge, go to the inspector in the shading tab, adjust softness X and Y to get a soft edge we like. To add border to the text title, alt drag the text clip and create a copy to the track above the video clip. Go to the inspector, switch to the shading tab. Change the appearance of element 1 to text outline and adjust the thickness as needed. We can also change the border color if we like. Play the timeline, the transition is now having the text outlines. In the window system, there are some fonts available for symbols and shapes, such as Seago fonts, Webdings and Wingdings etc. 
Not only can we use them to add shapes and symbols into our video, but also we can use them to generate mats in the edit page. For example, here is a text plus clip with some symbols from Fontsego UI symbols. Just like a normal text title, change its composite mode to alpha, it turns into a mat. We can also have multiple layers working together as one combined mat. Here we have one text clip with a circle and another one is a triangle. For example, we can merge these two shapes into a speech bubble. Make sure both composite modes are set to alpha. Copy the video clip into the track above and the video is now masked by the speech bubble mat. Of course, we can just simply use one of the many existing speech bubble symbols, such as this one. To add shadow to the masked video, select all three of the text and the video clips and create a compound clip. Drag the drop shadow filter to the clip. If we want to subtract a shape from another, we can change one shape to black and adjust the position to get the result we want. Once it's done, set the background of white shape also to black and we have our final shape in black and white. Create a compound clip with these two clips, set the composite mode to luma or inverted luma. Add a video clip above, the video is now masked out by the subtracted shape. There is another application of this masking feature in the edit page. When it's combined with the noise gradient generator, we can create text titles with some nice textures or animated background. Add a text plus clip to the timeline, simply put capital mask as the text. Change the font and size to fit the title in the middle of the screen. Go to the inspector and switch to the settings tab. Change the composite mode to alpha. Drag a noise gradient to the timeline above the text clip. In the settings tab, change the composite to foreground. Select the text clip and press D to disable the clip temporarily so that it's easier to work on the noise generator clip. Select the noise gradient clip. In the inspector, set the contrast to 0.15 Reduce the brightness to minus 0.25. Set see the rate to zero, as we just need a static background. From the effects library, drag the open FX filter edge detect to the noise clip. Go to the effects tab in the inspector. Set the brightness to 0.5. Enable the edge mask overlay. I think this is not bad. Select the text clip, press D to enable the clip. And here is a title with a random generated texture. Alt drag to copy the text clip and put at the end of the timeline. Also duplicate the noise generator above the text clip. Go to the inspector, in the effects tab, delete the edge detect filter. In the generator tab, Click the Reset All button to reset the generator's settings. There are six versions listed at the top. These are predefined settings that generate different background results. We can disable the mat temporarily to check these settings. Version 1 is the default version, nothing special. Version 2 is a fire like animation. Version 3 is something like a flashing light beam in deep water. Version 4 is a cool light changing fluid. Version 5 is made of tree rings. And version 6 generates these random animated white lines. Enable the text clip and we have a title with one of these cool looking animations. And it's also easy to change their styles to meet the project requirements. For example, we can change the color from black to dark blue. Or adjust the offset to increase or reduce the lines. 
If we want to speed up the animation, we can go to the Controls tab, Increase Seethe Rate. This noise gradient generator is flexible and very powerful, you can play with the parameters and get some nice results that fit in your projects. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.